Hi everybody, it's Christy and Changing Christy. Um, I come to you today at my week 23 gastric bypass post-op. Um, I have been doing fantastic, so I just want to get right into the numbers if you don't mind. I made a little, jotted a few notes down, so um, I'm going to be looking at them. So anyway, um, my highest weight was 273. That was back in October of 2014. Day of surgery, I was 253. Um, when I got home, I was 255. And my current weight, when I got home from the hospital, my current weight is 193.8. And last week, I was 195.4. So um, I lost 1.6 pounds for the week which I'll take that any day of the week. Um, I think that's great. I think upping my calories to a thousand calories a day has extremely helped me and also exercising some more. I've been doing a lot more activity at work and also I've been trying to go to the gym and I've been doing a few extra exercises in the morning. Um, for example, like in the morning when I'm waiting for my coffee, I'll do about 10 to 15 squats or when I get up and go to the restroom at work when I'm in the restroom after I wash my hands and everything I'll do another 10 squats so I'm just trying to get a little extra exercise in and also um, trying to get a lot more walking in so um, if you guys have any other suggestions please let me know um, so I'm really excited about that um, total loss since this journey began is 79.2 so close to 80 pounds down um, since surgery, I've lost 60 pounds. Um, I have 23.8 pounds to go to get to 170, which is my next goal. Um, I think 170 would be good for me. Um, my doctor wants me to get down to 150, but I'm going to work towards 170, and I have 23.8 more pounds to go. Um, keep in mind that I'd only have to lose 20.8 to reach 100 pounds loss which is extremely amazing to me. So um, I'm just really thrilled I would do this surgery over and over and over again. It is just totally worth it. Um, I have no regrets. It was a little rough in the beginning. You can watch my past videos if you'd like. But overall, I'm extremely happy with it. Um, so... Um, my BMI when I started this journey was 48.4, which was a beast class 3, and now my BMI is 34.3, 30, which I'm still in the obese class 1. I'm trying to get into the overweight thing, but I think I have to be under 180 pounds to do that, so um, I'm working towards that too. So, um, anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about... I don't know if you guys have experienced this with anyone, but I have been over and over again, been talking to people, and I feel like they're a little bit jealous because of me losing weight. I don't know if jealousy is a, a good word for it, but I feel like they're a little more resentful more than anything else. Um, so I try not to say anything, even though I'm excited about it. Um, I try not to bring up how much I've lost for the week or um, really talk about it. It's just, it's hard for me to watch other people um, make, the make the same mistakes as I did. Um, I'm talking about um, eating more than what a, one serving is or eating late at night, or um, indulging in extra sweets. Um, just, you know, the same things that every one of us has done. And um, I just worry that um, they're making the mistakes. And I just want to say something and say, listen, it's not worth it. I know everything tastes really good. Um, I've been there and I really liked it and it really satisfied me but now that I've learned that that's just not the way to go I just want to be um, helpful to other people and I have tried to say things and they take it the wrong they take it the wrong way so um, 
I'm just, uh, excuse me, I'm just um, kind of um, at odds with this right now. Um, don't know how to go about it. Um, so I guess the best thing I'm going to do for right now is just not say anything. Um, and I hate that because I really want to help other people. Um, so, um, I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anybody else because I'm not, because I'm the first one that makes mistakes. I'm not perfect, not, you know, one way or another. I just want people to understand that if you want to lose weight, then you need to put the effort in. You cannot be overeating. You cannot eat extra and you have to exercise. You have to drink water. Um, you just have to put forth the effort because it's not going to happen if you don't put the effort into it. Um, I know that for a fact. I know in December my weight loss slowed down to a stall. I wasn't exercising. Um, I just wasn't uh, motivated um, I just felt like the holidays was taking me over, and as soon as I got back on track, um, things started moving for me again. And um, I just, you know, you got to put forth the effort if you want things to happen for you. So um, I just hate it, you know. I wanted to tell some of my friends and some of my family members, listen, this is what you have to do if you want to look better and feel better. But when I take the extra step to do that, um, it seems like they take it the wrong way or they are resentful of me because of my weight loss. And I just hate that. It just makes me feel so bad. So if this has happened to you, I'd like to know um, what you have done about it or um, your experiences and see um, what they had to say and how you handled it. So if you could just leave your comments below, um, I'd really appreciate that. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Um, I am going to insert some pictures at the end of this video, like I always do. And um, I love all you guys. Your um, videos are great. And I will come back to you next week at my week 24. So, love you guys. Thank you. Back and forth, the tug of war When we push away We fall back in